The sum ifs function sums a range using multiple criteria and multiple ranges that meet a specific criteria. All the criterion must be true in order for the cells to be summed. Syntax equals sum ifs, sum range, comma criteria range one, comma criteria one, comma criteria range two, comma criteria two, comma ellipsis. Criteria range two and criteria two are optional arguments and the ellipsis means we can have more arguments. The sum range argument is the range to sum if all of your criterion are met. The criteria range one argument is the range of the first criteria. Criteria one is the criteria that you're using for range one. Criteria range two would be the range of the second criteria and criteria two would be the criteria for range two. The criteria syntax rules are the same as the count if. In columns A and B, we have the first name and last name of an individual. In column C, we have a numeric value associated with that first and last name. We are going to write a formula that will sum all of the entries of John Brown. First, we need to have the sum range. The criteria range, we're going to start with John, with, well, A1 through A6, which is going to have the criteria of John. Our next criteria range is B1 to B6. And we are looking for the criteria of Brown. It's not case sensitive. I'm just used to typing it in that way. Now we have the number 1200. 200 plus 4 is 600. 600 plus 600 is 1200. So it's summing all of the entries that have John in column A and Brown in column B. Here we have a list of properties. And the properties are either townhouses or flats. And they either have free form or diving pools. We have the units in use, the monthly rent per unit, and then the monthly revenue. We want to write a formula in cell B11 that will give us the monthly revenue for all townhouses that have free form pools. We also want to be able to copy this formula over to cell C11. So we will have all flats that have free form pools or the monthly revenue. And we want to copy it down so we can calculate how many townhouse, townhouses have diving pools and how many flats have diving pools. And we want to get the monthly revenue for both of those. So let's go ahead and look at our spreadsheet. Because we have multiple criteria, we need to use the sum ifs. What range do we want to sum? Well, it doesn't matter what criteria we have, we always want the sum range to be the same because that is what we're summing. Criteria range one. The first criteria that we'll look at is we'll see if it's a townhouse or a flat. So there's our range comma. The criteria, we're looking for townhouse in this case, I have it clearly labeled in cell B10, so I will use that cell, comma. My next criteria range is to check for the pool type. So it's C3 to C7, comma. The criteria in this case is the freeform pool, and I have it clearly marked in cell A11, so I can use that cell. And there we have the amount. So we have the revenue for all townhouses that have free form pools. Now I want to be able to copy this over so I can get the revenue for all flats that have free form pools. And I want to be able to copy it down so I can have the revenue for townhouses that have diving pools and then for flats that have diving pools. So we need to look at the references and put some dollar signs. Well, when I copy the formula over cells F3 and F7. I don't want the column to change when I copy it over because I still want that monthly revenue range. If I copy this down, I still want the same range. So I need to put an absolute cell address in front of F3 and F7. B3 to B7 is the first criteria. 
if I, excuse me, the first criteria range. If I copy this formula over, I want the range to stay the same. And if I copy it down, I want the range to stay the same. So I need to put absolute cell references here. B10 is the criteria, the first criteria. The first criteria is townhouse in cell B10. When I copy it over, I want that criteria to change to flat. So I don't want to put a dollar sign in front of the B. However, when I copy it down, I need that reference to stay the same. So I'm going to put a dollar sign in front of the number. Cells C3 to C7, that's the next criteria range. It doesn't matter whether we copy this down or over. We want those to stay the same. So we will put absolute cell references. Now cell A11 tells us whether it's a free form. Well, cell A11 actually has the word free form. So we're checking for free form at this point. But when we copy it over, we still want to check for free form. But when we copy it down, we want to check for diving. So we'll put a dollar sign in front of the A. Then we will copy it over. Copy it down. And there's our solution. Now there is a function called average ifs. We already talked about the average if function, so ignore that first two sentences there. And let's get down to the average ifs function. The average ifs function averages a range using multiple criteria and multiple ranges that meet a specific criteria. And in this case, all criterion must be true in order for the cell to be averaged. So the average ifs function works just like, or it has the same syntax as the sum ifs function, only it will average a range that meets multiple criteria.